uh, fire and blood. Yes. And Rick? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the I think the most compelling thing about uh, this particular story, and I think it's the reason that this was the spin-off successor show, as George calls them, that he was most excited about, is because it delves into the history of the Targaryen dynasty. And that's something that we hear about in A Song of Ice and Fire in the pages of the book and the original series, Game of Thrones, but we never really get a real sense of it. So this series begins at the absolute pinnacle of the dynasty, the height of power and wealth and influence. They have the most dragons that they'll ever have. Uh, and it's just before the, uh, the bloom starts to come off the rose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, Patty, your grace, um, King Viserys, or King Viserys. How's the throne? Comfortable? It was lovely, yeah. I couldn't <laughs> wait to get on it. I got very territorial with that throne. And I won't allow anybody else to sit on it. That's why. Why doesn't anybody put pillows on it? Well, it's part of it is because it's supposed to be uncomfortable to sit on, I think. You know, I didn't have a pillow, by the way. I suffered on that throne. So, um, but yeah, it's not, it's not a comfortable thing. It's made of swords, so, you know, it should be a relaxing experience sitting up there. What kind of a, what kind of a ruler is, is King Viserys? He's a, he's a kind man. I think he inherited the, uh, you know, the crown because he was, uh, in my view, he was, he was a good scholar. And a, and a man of good temperament and a kind man who's trying to sort of keep the peacetime going within the kingdom. Um, and I think that's why he was chosen as, uh, as, as king. Um, but he's a man who's, uh, what, I want, what I wanted to do with the character when, when I read the script was just to view it with as much humanity as I could um, and bring as much, much kind of life to him as I possibly could. But he's a man that cares about things. There's great tragedy in him. He loves his family, cares about his position, but he's also carrying something out that's a kind of secret that's revealed in the show that uh, you know, kind of refers to the, the potential fall of man in the future. So uh, there's lots of different things going on. Speaking of that family, Matt, our Damon Targaryen, what's that relationship like, that brother relationship like? <laughs> I mean, that was the sort of heartbeat for me, really, and I had such a fabulous time with Paddy. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a complicated relationship, but I sort of hope that me and Paddy found a lot of depth and a lot of richness in, uh, in the work that we did. But really, everything is about his brother. Yeah. Uh, Eve, Aranis, uh, uh, the queen that never was, what does, what does that moniker mean to her? Sorry, could you repeat? Oh, that's her. <laughs> um, the queen that never was. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? What does that mean to Rings? What does the title mean? To yeah. How does she? How does she relate to? It really pisses her off. <laughs> <laughs> she should have been the queen. And then, it's, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and it's kind of annoying that she isn't. And it's also kind of annoying that people keep remembering and um, reminding her. So, um, yeah, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh, Steve, our, our Corliss Valerian, uh, part of Renice's family. If you like cartoons, movies, books, music, I demand you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, be prepared to subscribe. Be prepared for two. Do not resist. Do not resist. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.